We got an energy reading coming in here, um, starting off with the ten of wow, ten of wands. Like wow, right? Uh, somebody is in the midst of harvesting here. This is beautiful, although you might feel a little bit overwhelmed. Um, I feel like you're coming. I feel like you're coming out of a harvest, and there was like this this mindset of like clinging on to things, like. I think I really believe that you're just tired, okay? Or you're feeling kind of overwhelmed or you are not used to success or, you know, something like that. This is kind of about clutching on to something, right? Rather than letting that energy flow exchange, okay? And we have this two of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like somebody has made a decision here. Let's ask about this 10 of wands, please. That card that popped out here, by the way, on the bottom was the Emperor. So we're just going to leave that out. So ask about this Ten of Wands. Okay, I've got a death and regeneration here. So the harvest was in passion, purpose. I really feel like it is going to affect every facet of your life here. Okay? Uh, the Emperor popping out shows me that there is, you know, a, a divine masculine feel to this. And when I say that, what I mean is, this is about being pragmatic, okay? This isn't about relationships and stuff. This is kind of about being pragmatic here with the lean I'm getting here. I've got a Ten of Cups in reverse. Somebody was expecting a wish fulfillment here, and instead they've gotten this harvest, okay? Uh, this is something that they worked for. I feel like maybe you've done it on your own and you were expecting you know, some help or some kind of partnership or some kind of wish fulfillment around relationships. I feel like you've done a lot of this on your own. Okay. We do have a King of Cups coming in. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like some of you might possibly have had a choice. Okay. Between two situations, two groups of people. And I think you kind of I think you kind of leveled up on your own. Like you kind of extricated yourself here. I do feel like there's an offer coming in. Some of, some of you could be choosing to stand in this King of Cups here. Okay, to make sure that you're bringing in that heart space. I feel like there was a lot of things done here that didn't have to do with the heart space. Didn't have to do with relationships here. We've got big changes coming in. Okay, if the Emperor wasn't here, it would be here. There's huge changes for you. I actually feel like, um, whoa, lots of cards flying. I actually feel like, I feel like there's going to be an offer or some opportunity here, okay, that's coming into you. Um, we've got this world card. I feel like you're going to be able to pick and choose. I feel like there's a lot of changes going on in the world, obviously. But I feel like in your particular case here, if you lead with the heart, but you have to be pragmatic as well, okay, there's going to be a huge outpouring of love here. All right. And look at that. We've got this high priestess coming in for the divine feminine. So lean into your intuition. Some uh, spirit wants you to understand that the time for the pain and the betrayal is over. I'm gonna ask on this three of cups real quick. Or excuse me, this three of swords. Yep. I feel like, yeah, I feel like there could have been depression around something, right? And maybe that's why this kind of got confusing up here. I do feel like maybe there were some people around you. There was someone kind of paying attention, but there was um there was a lot of emotion around something and it was somebody was not ready to start like this new beginning. So this could be somebody around you. It could be you. Okay. I'm going to grab another deck and just get some qualification here. Yeah. We've got earth angel energy coming in here. We've got eight of cups. Oh my gosh. There you go. There's the 10 of cups. Okay. After you move away from all of this, and I will put them in order as they came out. Sorry about that, guys. There you go. Okay. After you move past all of this, there's going to be 
you know, that's where you're getting this king of, or excuse me, this ten of cups. So you need to stay pragmatic, but you also need to lead with the heart, the heart space. Okay. Um, yeah, rather than doing things by the book, I feel like you have kind of realized that you need to do things your way. There's a mending that's been involved here. Remember I talked about that heart space and you're being called out here to stay in this higher power. Okay. I feel like there's a higher power involved here and you're being called out to, to stay in that. Uh, by the way, please check the description box. Uh, check out the store. We've got healing energy coming in. We've got it's all good. And there's a reunion of souls here. And I really feel like that's more of a tribe or a situation, not necessarily a relationship. I'm going to pull a karma card for you. In the description box, there's a download intro to astrology that gives you everything you need to know about your natal chart. First one out here is the serving of others, the details of what do what you must do. And, and then it's coming in in Virgo, which is interesting. You might want to check your placements. Okay. The drive for the confronting of an action in Marge, Mars. I feel like for a lot of you, this has been about facing your own stuff. That's what this re regeneration, these huge changes. And when you do something like that and you start to move forward, it opens up the door for other things to come in. Okay. The oracle card I have for you is, wow, it's number 11. If the fox can't find his tail. <laughs> All right, I'm really intrigued now. Number 11. Let's see what we got. Dig deep into your own authentic knowing, avoiding compromise, avoid chasing your tail. This fox can't find a tail. It might be because he's chasing the wrong things and looking in the wrong direction. One that is unnatural to him. Okay, it talks about fear. You may you may still have fear. You're coming from a place of fear. We talked about coming from the heart space. Okay, it's also about like following trends where everyone appears to be doing it. So you feel like you need to fit in to do this. And you're being called out to keep going on your own way. That's what this intuition is all about. Okay. If you don't have all the facts, it's okay to change your mind, right? Do what's right for you, all right? And as you come back into your own higher power here, okay, you're going to stop chasing your tail. You're going to come from a gentle, grounded, empowered place. So much good is possible when you do this. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Please take good care of yourselves, take good care of each other, and as always, be kind out there.